Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of space weather, landslides, fire, ice, extreme weather, and Earth's magnetic reversal may be happening faster than anticipated. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star exceedingly calm, but that is the only place that statement holds true. And if you really know, star's coronal holes only appear to be calm. But back at Earth is the action where we bottomed out in solar wind telemetry and have begun a re-ramp in speed, but nowhere into scary levels yet. Thus far, Earth's shield is handling the impact fairly nicely. This was almost certainly not the arrival of the last stream there. That will be tonight or during the weekend, and this time moderate to strong geomagnetic events are possible. Not talking end of the world, but power trouble, communications, transportation, digital, things like that. Moving on next to landslides. This NASA video takes the Earth observing fleet's ground motion detectors and was piecing together the landslide events, landslide tendencies, and landslide risks, and did so for the majority of the landslide-prone areas around the world. They have delivered not only the colored event maps, but the susceptibility risk of different global areas, and also the death totals from those events. Lots of bigger dots in the Central and South America region there. Not such good news on that general front. The extreme storms known to bring down hillsides, cause major flooding and lightning and hail, are becoming more common. Frequency of occurrence of some threshold power events have increased 40% with some events becoming over 400% as likely than in past decades. Might as well get to the other side of the weather and go dry. Extreme fire danger in the center of the U.S. today, eyes open there. Well, how about the other side of temperature? From fire danger to the Weather Channel's graphical representation of NOAA's forecast to turn the month, appearing to be a cold one across a large part of the United States. Now here's our top story. The World Magnetic Model is a collaboration of more scientists than I can count, from all over, detailing the situation and changes in Earth's magnetic field. They are supposed to be valid for five-year periods between model updates, with the next one due out at the end of 2019. But we just blew past the red line, maximum error specification, one year ago, and are now seeing grid variation error way too high. They are blaming unmodeled crustal and external magnetic fields for taking reality outside of the bounds of their expectations. Folks, the North Pole just accelerated even faster and has made the official 2015 model too erroneous for the above 55th North Latitude region. The shift has begun and it's getting faster. If you haven't seen the video that 150,000 people have seen in just the last 20 days, it is well worth the time you should keep today's news in mind as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.